Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. It's currently Thursday the 10th of December, which means that it's Thursday week nine at Oxford, which means that time is officially over. Um, woo, my time is finally over. However, as a DPhil student, I still have some obligations left. Like for instance, I have some supervisions with my supervisor. But yeah, in terms of like actual like time time, it's over. Anyway, I wanted to vlog today because I don't know about you, but after like I've had a few stressful weeks of university, I always, my living space becomes really messy and I hate that. So today I wanted to take you along on me sort of like getting my life back together after time and just organizing everything, cleaning everything and just, yeah, I mean, you can see behind me here that this clothing rack is a bit of a mess. So a, a lot is it, it, it needs to be done today. It's like one right now. Uh, before I do any of that, however, I need to go to the shops and pick up some uh, bits and bobs. So come along on this hopefully productive and organizational day. shops I just put all the shopping away and then I decided to start tidying the kitchen. Here I'm just emptying the dishwasher and refilling it with all the dirty dishes. I then hand washed all the things that couldn't go in the dishwasher. Here I'm using this methods cleaning solution uh, to wipe down all the kitchen worktops. It's a plant-based antibacterial cleaning agent and I love it. Here I'm just folding all uh, the laundry that was on this drying rack. This is such a huge drying rack and it was really in the way so I decided to make this a priority. Here I decided to pick up all the pencils I use for drawing. I usually draw in the mornings and evenings but I wasn't going to this evening so I decided to put it all away. Here I'm just tidying my workspace and I decided to add a new set of fragrance sticks from Rituals. I love what this brings to the room and it's such a nice smell. Then I decided to start tidying up in the hallway. This is always the area in our flat that gets the messiest and I don't really know why. And then here I'm just sorting out this clothing wrap. I had to put away this dress for instance. So here I'm just putting some pillowcases back on our sofa cushions because I spilled coffee on them previously and had to wash them. Here I'm just using this method's floor cleaner and just wiping the floors. And then I decided to wipe down all the handles and the light switches in our flat. And I just sort of dusted off the radiators as well. I pretty much finished sort of tidying up. I look like an absolute mess, but um, the bedroom still looks like this. All the bedding on the floor, that's because we need to change while well, we're washing the bedding. So um, that's why that is looking like that currently. Um, yeah, um, it's time to make dinner and I think for tonight we're just going to have a cheeky pizza. Some days you just don't feel like cooking very much, so yeah, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do.
for me, is a pivotal moment in the story of your competitions, is it? First it's, after, uh, it's after dinner now, and um, we just eat and watched MasterChef as per usual. And now I'm actually going to read an article. Even like today, I wanted it to be quite a relaxed sort of get my life on back on track kind of day. But I always make sure to read at least two articles per day. That sort of that way you sort of keep you're keeping up with all the reading you have to do, and you can sort of build your bibliography um, day by day. So yeah, that's uh, something I try to make sure to do most days. And that today I'm definitely going to read another article. I'm not sure which one yet, but I'll find one. I'm sure. Um, I also should I also should perhaps update you on the the disastrous uh, programming thing that happened in week seven. It's actually working now, so that's all been sorted. I managed to figure out a way to solve it, so that's absolutely brilliant. My model is outputting the um, at the tag data that I need now. Um, and just for clarification, I'm I'm analyzing the loss of certain grammatical grammatical elements in the history of Swedish. Uh, and that's why I need um, I needed uh, a lot of data, and I needed annotated data. And while I had to annotate some of the data that I put into the model, um, significantly more data is needed for my project. And that's why the model is so great because it, it outputs that data that I need, the annotated data. Um, so yeah, that's all great. That's all sorted. Um, so yeah. I decided to read this article now. It's on the history of dependentness marking in, in Scandinavian. And it's by Jan Treche Farlund. I'm sorry, how I, I probably did not pronounce that correctly, but yeah. So it's um, it's by the by Cambridge University Press, and it looks really interesting. So yeah. Radiates light of my memory.